Hello everyone and welcome to another math tutorial. Today is the third part in the uh, series of solving exponential equations. Uh, the equations that we're going to see in this video are a little bit unique compared to what we have seen previously and that all of these equations are going to contain the natural base E. I've only got two examples because there's not a lot of variety in the, in the types of problems that we're going to see here. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, this first example problem, uh, you can see just kind of at the outset how it looks a little bit different than the other problems. Similar in that the variable we're solving for is, is in the exponent. Different in that the base is uh, base E. It's not like two or three or, or a different base here. We have the natural base E uh, in play in this equation. To solve an equation like this, first thing that you want to do is get the E to the power alone. Okay, so you want to get this by itself. So the minus nine, we've got to move it over here. The four, we're going to move it over here as well. Okay, so we're just going to start this like it's uh, any old ordinary two step equation, and we're trying to isolate part of that equation. Okay, so first step is going to be to take this nine and add nine to both sides. So doing that will give me four e raised to the three x plus eight equals 15 plus nine is 24. And then I'm gonna remove the four that's in front of the e. We're gonna divide both sides by four. And so now I have e raised to the three x plus eight equals six. Okay, once we get the E by itself, we've done that right here. Now we're going to use a natural log to cancel the E. Okay, if you've been following my videos already, you know that in the two videos that led up to this one in parts one and two, I like to use the natural log to just solve you know, any exponential equation where I can't make the bases match. Part of the reason why I like to do that is because now I'm just gonna do the exact same thing. I'm not gonna change up my technique or my method to solving this kind of equation. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do natural log to both sides. So that'll look like this. Natural log of E raised to the three X plus eight equals natural log six. Now, unlike before, we're not gonna have to take this power and move it to the front uh, necessarily because what we have here is an instance where uh, we have inverse functions going on. These inverse functions, the composition of these functions are going to cancel each other out. Uh, so the natural log and the E get removed and what we have left is just 3x plus 8 equals natural log 6. Now we'll finish this equation by just doing a standard couple steps to get the x by itself. So we're going to subtract 8 so I'll have 3x equals natural log 6 minus 8. Then we're going to divide by 3, so x equals natural log 6 minus 8 divided by 3. If you are needing or wanting an exact answer, that's it. That's exactly how you want to write it. Uh, if you want an approximation, then we're going to go to the calculator at this point. So I'm going to type in uh, natural log of 6 minus 8. And then I'm going to take that answer. We're going to divide it by 3. And again, like in the, the last video, I'm going to use four decimal places of accuracy here. So I've got negative 2.06. And there is my approximate answer. All right, final example in this video is gonna involve an E uh, on both sides of the equation. So we saw one like this in the last video where we had the variable on both sides of the equation. Um, and it was pretty rigorous algebraically just to solve for the X. Because the bases are E though in this problem, uh, this is actually gonna be quite 
easy to do. The first step, like any step in, in these problems, if the E is by itself, which it is, is I'm going to take a natural log of both sides. So natural log of E raised to the 5x minus 3 equals natural log of E raised to the 2x plus 9. Now again, like we saw in the last video, natural log of E are inverses, so they cancel each other out, and that leaves us with 5x minus 3 equals 2x plus 9. And now we're just going to solve this multi-step linear equation. I'm going to take the 2x, I'm going to subtract it to that side, the minus 3 and add it to this side. So if I do that, let's do this, minus 2x plus 3. I'm now going to have 3x equals 12, divided by 3, x equals 4. And that concludes the problem.